Right, now we are live for this morning's demo on Small Business Saturday and we're going to do some more of a crafty one. So this is good if you've got children or grandchildren wondering what to do with them on rainy Saturdays like today, ready for Christmas. So we're going to do some Christmas cards or gift tags, whatever you've got, it will work well. So I'm using some acrylic paints, a selection of colours, um, a black liner pen, a white gel pen, and a Posca pen, but you've got lots of colours. Now, Posca pens are paint markers. Um, they're brilliant for painting on anything. It's basically liquid paint in a pen. Uh, they're very opaque, so they'll go on anything. Um, there's a craze at the moment for painting pebbles, and then they hide them, and then people find them, take photographs of them, and then they rehide them um, all the way around the area. So it's a new thing that's going around, and they paint on the pebbles beautifully as well. So, oh yeah, the other things you'll need is your thumb and a finger. So um, they're the two things that you'll definitely have. The others, maybe not so. Um, I'm using a plastic inking tray, but any any plate or tray or palette will work just as well. So I thought I'd just show you. It might not be a full 45 minutes today because it's a it's a quickish thing, um, which is the idea of the craft. It's a, it's a quick wonderful way of, of of just creating something fun so there's lots of different things you can do um if i show you the most simple one is a bit of green acrylic paint i think this is a hooker's green or something and i'm using my finger so i'm pulling it out making sure i've got lots on my finger <coughs> and i'm going to go round in a circle. I'm doing it quite big so you can see but obviously on gift tags you can go a bit smaller. I say it's good for children actually it's good if you just like getting messy. For recycled teenagers or big children that works quite well. So what you do then is obviously you clean your finger because you don't need that green. And then when it's dry, you can use the Posca pen on top. Now this is a bullet one, so this is a 5M. And when you go on top, you just need to dab like that and it gives lovely red dots. It's gonna take a while to dry. I have got one I prepared earlier to show you. Um, but then you can go round each one and sort of create a sort of zigzag shape to make it look like holly and you can even put a bow on it so it looks more like a wreath and hi Kerry how are you thank you for watching and then when it's finished it looks something like that so it's a nice little wreath made from fingerprints and red dots. You could, if your red paint is really good, you could put those on with your little finger yeah. but or a, or a paintbrush, but the paint marker works really quickly and really well now. I think I've got a few bits dry on here, so I can add it on. It's quite effective, isn't it? It's, it's, it's fun and simple, yeah. absolutely wonderful. So if you imagine you've got lots of gift tags or gift cards that you want to give out um, so this is on white that's on a on a pale blue card um, you can pick up a sheet of uh, a4 card like this well we sell them downstairs for 30p a sheet so actually it's not not that expensive if you're slicing them up into small gift cards or making small greeting cards out of it um, you can get quite a few for your 30p yeah. so all it is is just sort of um, I'm creating this sort of shape with it as I go around. So it can look, it might be holly, but we don't know. But you've got to wait for it to dry because what will happen is the paint will get on the nib and it will stop working. So it's that sort of shape all the way. Hi Nessa, good morning. Um, so just a quick little holly, holly wreath, are absolutely fun. And it wipes off your finger really well. Do choose water-based paints um, when you're doing this. A, you don't want to get in a mess, but B, you do want to be able to wash it off yourself. Um, I know that's, uh, you might think, oh, that's really obvious. But 
the tendency to just go and pick anything out from the cupboard and get your hands in there is fine. If you want multicolored hands for a few days, then you can use something else. But acrylic paint works well. You could use watercolors um, from a tube. Squeeze them out on the palette and that's fine. This is my Tony Hart type day, isn't it? I'm doing more of an um, heartbeat or take heart, whichever generation you are from. Tony Hart is my idol, by the way. I'm not wearing a cravat this morning to do this, although I should, and there is no plasticine little animal running around. Yet. Ah, oh, he was absolutely amazing. Morning, Jules. So that's if you were doing a small one, and obviously it depends how big you want it. You've got a, a, a range of finger sizes, so if you want a small one, use your little finger. If you want a big one, use your thumb. Middle, use your, use your index finger. Something else you can do, good morning Charlotte, um, is if you want to do, uh, what should we do next? I'm going to mix a bit of brown, this is burnt sienna, and a bit of yellow ochre I think, to make it a little bit lighter. This is just so much fun you know, it really is. Um, but I'm, I want to use my thumb, I should have mixed it with my thumb really getting it everywhere I've got I'm also trying to negotiate a stand for the camera a stand for the camera in the classroom for recording purposes um, right so if I get my thumb in here really rock my thumb about make sure I got plenty of paint on like that good morning Jackie now if I do this a bit further down here I, don't, I might be off camera for a second um, because I want to get the whole of my thumb in, like that. Then, I'll get a bit of red. Oh, let's clean my thumb because I can see me picking that up and getting it everywhere. It's best to have a responsible adult. I have a, a responsible adult in the classroom with me this morning. Um, right, so I'm going with my finger this time. Bit of red. Might add a tiny bit of white with that just to brighten it up. And then go like that. Any ideas what this will be? No. Well, if I do a little ear like this and a little ear like that. And actually, I've got some black paint marker here so I can do some eyes. I've got a little reindeer. I've got a little Rudolph. That's quite fun, isn't it? And then when that red dries, you could use the white gel pen just to put the highlight on. Or you could use a white Posca pen, a paint marker. You could use a little bit of paintbrush and a, and a bit of white acrylic paint just to um, put a little highlight on his nose. That, see, that makes it so much, so much more realistic. Um, and then you've got your little Rudolph um, reindeer. And you could do a whole card with a whole family of reindeer on in different sizes. You could use the paint marker more in conjunction with what they are. So you could have with, so that's, that's it in a slightly lighter color. Good morning, Mary, that's it as it could be a card, you know, so you've got your reindeer on. So that's a really dark brown. The lighter colours don't stand out as much against it, but um, so that's your thumb and your fingerprint and your black pen. So it's, it's just a lot of fun, really. I know that I, I prefer him though, he's really cute. <laughs> uh, another one you can do, we'll use the same brown and I'll use my thumb again. Oh, sorry cameras, I'm just knocking everything all over the place this morning. I'm lethal this morning. Right, let's go with a bit more ochre in this. And I'm mixing it with the right one that I want to use this morning. So I'm using my thumb to mix it up. Loads of paint on there. Which is why a flatter palette is better for you than a, a posh palette. Because you've A, you're going to get covered in acrylics. And you want to be able to get your fingers and your thumb in easily. Throwing everything all over the place. 
and it'll do another thumbprint here like that clean that off and it's going to be very similar to the um, reindeer how this is going so I'm going to go with my finger next and go with a bit of red maybe I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in here make it a bit more orange So we're not doing fine high art today. We're having fun in the classroom. It's small business Saturday. Um, it's December. You've got to kick back a little bit, haven't you? And have a bit of fun with finger painting. And who doesn't like finger painting? So now, if I do my orange blob there. I'm wiping my finger every time. I can go with a black pen. Like this. Two little black eyes, like that. And I've got a little orange pen. For a little beak. So we've got a little robin. How cute. It's amazing what you can do with your finger and thumb. So the same colours, but in a different order. So then you could have, you could put some white for his eyes and then a little black. That's him with a slightly darker one. He looks like he's got wings there because I got a bit carried away with how much I had on my thumb. But it still works. You could have several robins on a log. You could do all manner of things with that. The next one is a favourite of mine. I'm just going to move that out of the way. And get some dark blue card. Again, this is 270, 280 gram card so it's quite thick perfect for tags and greeting card 30p a sheet so let's go make sure my fingers are clean i have a jar of water to dip them in should i get too out of control i'm going to go with some white on my thumb i'm sort of hugging the camera stand at the moment to i can you want the full length of your thumb Hello. Hello. What? Come, come in, yeah. yeah I've already done a few. Oh look, he's making thumbprint gift tag. Look. Yeah, Watch come in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. So I'm yeah. using some blue card, there, honey. like the colour that you bought this morning, Tess. Yeah. We're going to do this at home, Tess. We've got four people wa watching live on Facebook. Mm. So I'm, I'm loading white acrylic paint up on my thumb. So I've got quite a lot on there. You see? Mm. And then I will put my thumb on the card like that. So I've got a long blob. Mm. I use my pointy finger. What's it going to be, Tess? Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Go with my finger. Pop that on the top. Lovely. And then, clean my fingers. And here's one I made earlier. So I used the black pen when it dries for the hat his coal buttons his eyes his mouth and a red paint marker for his scarf and the orange for his nose and he looks a little bit like Aww. that isn't he cute isn't but you could do them with different facial expressions yeah. and all sorts of things but it works really well on a dark colored card what morning trish paint is that? that's just acrylic paint yeah um, so we've just done, I've done a Ru Rudolph here. Oh, I like that one. Um, and a little Robin. Aww. And a little wreath. Oh, how did you do the wreath? Fingerprints, just, just fingerprints just all the way around. Them. And then red paint for the blobs, for the berries. Aww. So that works really, really well. It, this is, it is, it is so much fun. You may probably want to start with the children, but then as you get into it, you won't let them play right. because you want to do it yourself because they won't do it how you think it should be done. So um, just end up playing. And then a really fun one, a bit more contemporary, mm. is we've drawn a wiggly line. Yeah. Now, this will need a lot of colours, including silver and gold acrylic paint, all available downstairs. Actually, we've got a set of... Um, 36 tubes of paint, oh, 
for £35 and the retail is about 50 quid, and that's got every single colour of acrylic so paint in the world. I'm sorry, I'm just having a sip of meat, honey and lemon drink. Man flu. Man flu, yes. Kath's in the room, by the way. Hello, Kath from everyone. the Kath. <laughs> let's go with, nice. let's go with a bit of purple. A bit of purple. And I'm going to go, I'll do, I don't know, one, ooh, one, two, I'll go there and there and there and there. You're very good at this, Tess. And, and Tess has got a wonderful Christmas jumper on this morning. Very festive. Lights up, plays music, doesn't it? Yeah. So we go with a bit of magenta there and there and there. So I'm using the side of my finger. I'm using the pointy bit of my finger rather than the whole of it. I'll use a clean one, Barry. There we go. Go with some gold. Ah, lovely. Some glass painting. Yeah. And we can make some gift tags or cards as well. Yeah. That's It's a lovely colour, isn't it? I haven't gone all the way around there because I want to get the twist. You could do the line afterwards once you've done the, the lights. Let's go with a bit of orange. And then once you've finished, you see, you can put in a little blob of black on top of each light. So it looks like it's got an attachment. So it looks more like that. Isn't that quite fun? It's, it's more of a, a contemporary like Christmas card, but it works quite nice. Or a tag, and you could write Merry Christmas or whatever on it. And it's just a bit of fun, really. But it's different. And every one you do will be totally different mm. to the next one. What else can we do? Right, okay. Oh, we doing that? Right. Uh, yeah, you know what? I've just gone into the green. <laughs> <laughs> You're so clever. You could be sitting there. Morning, Linda. Morning, Jeff. We've got nine people live on Facebook watching. I know who needs art attack, eh? I am. Right, so what I'll do is I'll blob like that, and then if I blob going outwards a little bit, I say blob. That's what we're doing, isn't it? We're blobbing. Blob inside. Are you going to do different colours on it for lights? For lights, absolutely. You want some gold on there. If you wanted more control and you didn't want people running around the house with dirty fingers, you could use cotton buds for small ones. The only thing with a cotton bud is when you dip in and then move it on the paper, you'll end up with almost a, a donut shape because mm. the pointy bit, the hard stick in the middle, no, leaves I a like circle. But this fingers is, this work is really all well. Of the fun, isn't it? It, your own absolutely, in the absolutely. So let's go. No, let's let's do. Brush, yeah, let's go with a, a nice gold <laughs> light on the top. <laughs> go with a nice gold light on the top. We'll go with a few lights. We can then, we can even use the paint markers for a bit of tinsel, can't we? So we'll go, let's have some yellow. I doubt you'll be thinking you've gone upstairs for a tattoo. Well, he has got you with, she has got you with her, so anything's possible. So we'll just do a little bit with the light. I'm a responsible adult, Barry, sometimes. Yes. <laughs> well, Tony's my responsible adult this morning in here. Well, I have to keep my eyes That's what I have to call every time. I'm Lisa, Linda, Tony. Right. Yeah, do. I, Linda, you would love this. Morning, Janine. Who else we got watching? Morning, Lynn. It's quite fun, isn't it? Mm. Is that our Janine? It is our Janine. Hello, our Janine. Fan Fancy Jean. Fancy Janine. Fancy Jean so you can go really big baubles. Or then, if you just 
let it dry, you could use your paint markers for a nice bit of sort of tinsel coming round. Yeah, I like tinsel. Oh, that's good, isn't it, Tess? Look. Like that, or we've got a bit of blue. A bit of blue on here? Blue blobs. Well, these are paint markers, so they're very opaque. You shake them up, and you can get them in different sizes. So there's that sort of size, or we've got even fine detailed ones like that. And you can get brush pens, you can get very chunky ones, and they work on everything. So you could, in fact, use your pen afterwards to sort of bring out more of a tree shape. Mm. Because you're working quite crafty. It's really effective. You know, you can you can do quite a lot with it, can't you? It's um, it is such a lot of fun. And then you could add Merry Christmas, or if it's just a tag, you wouldn't really need that, would you? Because it would, you know, like with the Rudolph one, I've gone with the the modern calligraphy style. Um, but he's quite a dark reindeer, but he's quite a light reindeer. So it depends which colours of you, which colours you've got. But that's what this is all about. You can do whatever you want, really. You could do a whole group of reindeers. You could absolutely, or lots of robins. What lots of robins on a log? You could do anything. So this one, that yeah. If I bring back, yeah. Lots of robins on a log. Yeah. Let's um. Yeah, hello. hello. We're, we're, we're live on Facebook. We're doing. Um, no, it's right. We'll come in. It's a big free follow. Up. Yes, we've got we've got seven seven watchers on Facebook. Hello, watchers on Facebook. Hello. Or well, Facebookers. Let's do it. Let's do a row of robins. I'm sure there's a name for it. Collective a collective group of robins. Do you reckon it's different? Because it's different for different birds. Rocking robins. <laughs> Right, let's go with the brown. So I've mixed two different browns together so we could go some, 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 do three. Is it back now? Sometimes the camera decides to do its own thing, Tess. So we'll go with a bit of orange. But what this means is we can, if you've got three on a card, let's mix up a yellow and a red, I can go... We'll have, or the one in the middle will have face in us. So I'll use a finger there. And then the others, if I use half my finger on that one, and half my finger on that one, then we can have them facing each other and having a bit of a, a birdie chat. So what should we go? We'll go a few feet. And then we'll put those a bit closer together. And well, that's going to be a bit dry off. So he can be looking that way, and that one can be looking that way. Goodness knows what they're talking about. Maybe it's Christmas shopping. Maybe it's the free parking that we've got in today. Yes. Who knows? All day. We'll park for free today. Come to Banbury. Exactly. <laughs> Let's put a white highlight. Let's use a brush and a bit of white paint. Just to put a little dot in their eyes. Like that. Should I do some more different snowmen tests? Because I know you like the snowmen one, didn't I? So, so these are all done with thumbprints and paint. So this one, this little guy here, we never finished him off, did we? So let's get the paint marker. Let's give him a top hat. That's good. Two little blobs. A bit smaller ones for his mouth. Down there. Let's go for an orange paint pen. Scarf. Oh yeah, needs a scarf. Bit of an orange nose. Should we go for a light blue scarf this time? So we go for a nice... Nice... Scarf, there's a bit of orange picked up on there, but that's all right. Looks kind of cool. So you could do, you know, that's like a snowman with a thumb and a finger. You could do a snowman in the old, old-fashioned way where they had three snowballs. Two for the body and one for the head. So that's with your finger. So we could go one, two, 
three. Let's make the bottom one a little bit bigger because it'll fall over. <laughs> Especially if it gets a bit warmer. There we go. So I've gone round with my finger like that. Or you can make them say all sorts of things and do all sorts of things. That's what's quite fun about this. You could make him a little bit... I'm not sure what on earth is going on with this guy. <laughs> Too many in his pies. Yes. <laughs> well, absolutely. And let's um, let's give him that there. Ooh, a green scarf. I'll paint that one on. I got a bit of green. There we go, so we've got a green scarf. This is just acrylic paint, so we're using acrylic paint because it washes off. Uh, and we're using paint markers as well. So we've got so many different things that you can do. And then you could go, if you wanted to, you see, you could, um, let's see, what style? Where's the writing on that? Oh yes, so we could go. I'm going to wear a fit Christmas. I'll fit Christmas round here. Show me my Christmas cards. <laughs> so you could do all sorts, you see. This is what's really fun about this. Um, that you can keep keep doing all sorts of things. Oh yes, bell. A bell is a good idea, Jeff. Well done. Um, we could do. I'm not talking to myself, by the way. These are people giving me suggestions on Facebook. I promise. Um, we could go with red. If we go red with our thumb. I mean, technically, if it's a tradition, it should be silver bells, shouldn't it? I won't go into Christmas carols. Let's put that one there. So we could go like that maybe if i put my thumb that way and rock it a little bit be a little bit wider and um, we've got a bit of gold so we'll go in with oh little finger and then we can make dry a little bit you've got your sort of I'm having to leave the edge because it being wet but then you see you could do all sorts of things so you could make a bell there's no end of things that you could do with this um, a gold a clangy bell so we've got thumbprint bells some and fingerprint robins, fingerprint trees. What else have we done? Oh yeah, we did um, fingerprint Christmas lights, didn't we, with the black pen. And then we've done, obviously, our lovely little snowmen. And reindeers, reindeer, reindeers. And a fingerprint leaf, a uh, wreath, with pen berries or paint berries. It really does depend on what. So this is a real fun activity. As I say, you can buy packs of assorted card. Any card will do. Darker card is better for paler colours. Light, a uh, darker card is better. Yeah, so darker card if you want to do snowmen or something, or pale card if you want the colours to be bright and stand out more. So there's so many things. Um that uh, you could do with this and it is it is such a lot of fun every one you do will be totally different and um, it's just a really great way of uh, using up any scraps of card you might have or bits of paint you've got lying around as I said so we've used acrylic paint a gel pen a black pen or um, Posca, Posca paint pens so there's so many different ways you could do to create this. So if you've only just joined us, we are finishing now, but 
Um, in about five minutes time when I end this demo, it will be available on our Facebook page forever. So you can log on to Facebook, go to our video section, and you can see um, see the whole demo from the start. It's a much quicker one today, um, just because it's more fun really, and you can whistle through it very quickly. And I'm trying to remember, in January, it will be the second week of January, so, well, the second Saturday. Well, it depends when it is in January. I, I can't remember. What date is it? Early January. It's close to the first Saturday of January. I think it will be the first Saturday in January, because this the second is a Tuesday, isn't it? So it'll be like the sixth. I'm doing a demo, and it's going to be watercolour marker pens. So it's a watercolour marker that you can use. So I'll be demoing that in January. Excellent. Good. Get creative this afternoon. Wonderful. Um, get your card out, your paints out, get your fingers out and start dabbing. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.